plain and simple, these are 10 things you need to actively do to get your life in order and get more done. Number one is unfollow the social media accounts from those that bring you down. That means that old friend from high school that you don't talk to anymore, but for some reason you're stalking online? Yeah, we press unfollow on that and all of the useless crap that is taking you away from your goal and distracting you from what really matters. Number two is follow the social media accounts of those that you want to be like. So all of the people that you actually admire, that you look up to, that motivate you, that bring you knowledge and content, those are the people that you want to keep following. And so when you take a break, it's actually just reminding yourself of the things that matter and learning on the side as well. Number three is focus on the goal and do the things it takes to get there. I know that might sound common sense, but genuinely a lot of people get caught in all the microtransactions of the day and they start worrying about their annoying family members or the frustrations at work or whatever. Regardless of however much time you have available and however frustrating your life is, put it all away and do the things it takes to get the goal. Regardless of how long it takes, it doesn't matter. A lot of people say, I, do, I want this done in a month or I want this done in a year. It doesn't matter. Work as hard as you possibly can doing the things that actually take you towards the goal that you want. Number four is dream all the time. Pretty much all the time that I'm not actually working, even if I'm relaxing and playing video games or talking with friends, it doesn't take long until my mind goes back to dreaming about the things that I want. I didn't always think about this. In fact, a lot of it went back to just self-doubt and worrying about things. Take that time, replace the worry with actively dreaming about the things that you want so that again, when it comes to game time, you can get stuff done. Number five is work in the day and play in the evening. I actively live by this rule by making sure that when I wake up on a work day, I do nothing but work. And a lot of people, they work, but you go on your phone a lot and you get distracted a lot. Work in the day and save your play for the evening. And that way you can always enjoy the fun later. I can always think about while I'm working that maybe, yeah, I might wanna play some video games right now or maybe I wanna talk with some friends. I can save that till later because I know that if I do this every day where I wake up, I do all the work, I am always going to have that time slot available and it's a great routine. Number six is figure out what you need to do the day before. A lot of people do some crazy scheduling where they know what they're gonna do on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and even Saturday between 10 and 12. That's possible if you like that schedule. However, that's not gonna work for most people because things take different times than you're expecting them to. Therefore, my favorite thing to do in general is just have a to-do list that every day in the morning and in the night, I check that to-do list to see the things that I know I need to do. And I cross off whatever is highest on the priority list or whatever is smallest and easiest to do. That's my best recommendation for a schedule. I don't recommend you absolutely schedule your life. Just in general, know the things that you need to do for the day. Number seven is kind of funny, but probably the one that you need to hear the most. Only keep friends you actually like. And the amount of people that have friends that they do not like, and they might not actively know they don't like them, but they make you feel bad, they take up a lot of your time by always being late, and you just, you're not motivated by them, you don't think that they're doing interesting things, you need to cut those friends out of your life and only have the ones that really motivate you. And they don't have to motivate you by literally saying, hey, good job, man. They just need to make you feel good about life. You enjoy hanging out with them. You can be close and share things with them and they make you a better person. Number eight is actively consider the people you don't want to be like and ignore their behaviors at all times. Genuinely, a lot of people drink too much, drugs, they are just wasting their time talking to people every single day all the time. They are going down the street and you see them instead of working. And write them down. Like I'm not just saying ignore those people. I'm saying look at their behaviors, see where it's making them end up, and actively do not do those things. Number nine is read books to take action and to think differently. This is one of the biggest things that changed for me was I only used to read theoretical books. Now, I make sure that I read books about people's lives that I want to have. Not so that I can try and follow their story if they did something crazy like make Facebook. No, you can't copy their plan and make Facebook as well. It's about thinking about how they are thinking. These big decisions that they're making in the grand scheme of things to get ahead of everybody else. And the small things here and there that you can apply to your own life 
to take action and to figure out how to navigate your own world. That's how I read books now, and it's a huge game changer. Number 10 might sound kind of crazy, but I genuinely mean it. See everyone around you as either a monkey or a god. What I mean is in your own head, walk around and think that you're either significantly above these people or you're significantly below them. And if you're significantly above them, that is the average person. And if you have no reason to be above the average person, you need to start taking action to do that. Once you start taking action to do that and you have your game plan, then you need to really look at the people that are actually kicking butt in the world, not the average person that you're looking up to for no reason. The people that are doing the phenomenal things that you really want to get done, see yourself as significantly below them, but you are working every day to try and do the same things that they are, and maybe you'll make it someday. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Drop a comment and I'd love to hear from you and have a great day or a great evening. I really hope that you do work hard and bye-bye.